Welcome to a political maze unlike any other. Join us on an exhilarating journey as we set sail to explore the breathtaking beauty of the Comoros Archipelago. Located in the waters of the Indian Ocean, these enchanting islands hold within them a world of wonder and intrigue. In the picturesque archipelago of the Comoros, a political secret awaits. The Comoros is an archipelago of volcanic islands located off the southeastern coast of Africa to the northeast of Mozambique in the Indian Ocean. The archipelago consists of four major islands, Ngazija, Mwali, Nzuani and Mayotte. Mayotte is part of the capital and the largest city is Moroni, located on the island of Ngazija. The total land area of the islands is around 2,235 square kilometers or 863 square miles. This makes the Comoros one of the smallest countries in the continent of Africa. The topography is rugged featuring volcanic mountains, craters and narrow coastal regions. The highest peak is the active volcano Karthala, reaching 7,746 feet in elevation on the island of Nungazija. Due to the volcanic origins, the country has very fertile soil that supports tropical crops like vanilla, cloves, perfume plants and core nuts. However, the nascent agricultural sector faces challenges like a lack of technology and vulnerable infrastructure. Expanding sustainable farming is a priority for the government. The first inhabitants of the islands were Bantu-speaking settlers who likely arrived by boat from Southeast Asia in the 6th century AD. The Comoros takes its name from the Arabic word for moon, Kamar. Arab traders may have named the islands due to the crescent shape of the major island of Grande Comor. Over the following centuries, the Comoros were visited by a wide variety of traders from Africa, Arabia, Persia and as far east as Indonesia. The islands provided food and fresh water for sailors, making the long journey across the Indian Ocean. In 1505, the Portuguese became the first Europeans to land in the Comoros. As the archipelago was not valuable to the Portuguese, they did little to exert control over the islands. It wasn't until the early 19th century that France gained a foothold and established Mayotte as a colony. In 1886, France placed the other three major islands under colonial rule. The Comoros remained under French control until 1975, when the islands declared independence as the Federal Islamic Republic of the Comoros. Though independent, political instability and coups have continued up until today. Comoros history has been shaped by its location and the endless arrival of foreign traders, settlers and empires. Today it continues working to forge its own national identity amidst political tensions. This small archipelago has witnessed over a millennium of Indian Ocean interactions as of 2022, the World Bank estimates the total population of the Comoros is around 836,000 inhabitants. This ranks the Comoros as one of the least populated countries in the world. Around 99% of Comorians are of mixed Malayo-Indonesian and East African descent and are termed Neo-Africans. Though intermixed, Comorian culture is more influenced by Africa than Indonesia. The predominant religion practiced in the Comoros is Sunni Islam, followed by about 98% of the population. This is due to extensive intermarriage with Muslim Arab and Persian traders stretching back over many centuries. Though Arabic scripts were used historically, in recent times, most writing has been done using Latin script. Spoken Comorian includes four closely related dialects. French and Arabic are also official languages and used in administration and education. Comoros is considered one of the poorest and least developed nations, with an economy heavily reliant on agriculture and fishing. 
The World Bank estimates its GDP at around $1.24 billion as of 2022. Economic growth is hindered by inadequate infrastructure, a poor business environment and corruption. Around 40% of the workforce depends on subsistence farming and fishing to survive, using traditional methods with little modern technology. Major crops include vanilla, cloves, coconuts and bananas. The volcanic soil and warm climate facilitate agriculture, though crops are also threatened by cyclones. Unemployment remains high in the Comoros, with the World Bank estimating over 9% as of 2022. With limited economic prospects, many skilled workers and educated youth seek opportunities abroad. Remittances from the diaspora contribute about 10% to the GDP. The government relies on import duties, taxes on agriculture, tourism and foreign aid from nations like France and the IMF to remain solvent and pursue development projects. However, the informal sector makes up a large portion of the economy. While the recent discovery of offshore oil and gas deposits could bring an economic windfall decades from now, Comoros today remains reliant on subsistence crops, fishing, volatile commodities like vanilla, and remittances from citizens abroad to stay afloat. Expanding infrastructure improving education and governance reform are vital to transforming fortunes long-term. Comoros operates as a federal republic with a president as the head of state and government. The presidency rotates among the islands, Grande Comor, Moheli and Anjouan, ensuring equal representation and power sharing among them. Each president serves a single term of five years. While the individual islands have a degree of autonomy, with their own local governments managing local affairs, the Union government oversees key aspects such as defence, foreign policy and finances. This structure aims to balance centralised authority with regional autonomy. The rotating presidency is a distinctive feature of Comorian politics. It was introduced to ensure equal representation among the islands and prevent dominance by any single island over the others. This rotation system is designed to promote inclusivity and fair distribution of power. Political parties play a significant role in Comorian politics, but the country has experienced challenges including coup attempts, political instability and power struggles. These challenges have, at times, hindered the smooth functioning of the government and impacted the nation's development. This political structure, with its rotation of presidency among the islands and a blend of centralised and decentralised governance, aims to maintain unity while respecting the unique identities and autonomy of each island within the Comoros archipelago. Though small in population, the diversity of flavour, packed entrees, paints a rich tapestry, reflecting this Indian Ocean crossroads. Here are some dishes. Langouste, vanille, showcasing the French influence. This dish takes delicate lobster tail, batters it up with vanilla accents, then fries it until crispy, golden and succulent for a sweet and savoury surf treat. Mishakiki is a popular dish in Comoros made from skewered meat, often beef or sometimes chicken, marinated in a blend of spices and grilled over charcoal or an open flame. The marinade typically includes ingredients like garlic, ginger, chili peppers and various spices that give it a flavorful and aromatic taste. Pilau is a rice dish that's commonly prepared in the Comoros Islands. It's a one-pot meal made by cooking rice with various ingredients such as meat, usually chicken or beef, vegetables like carrots and peas, and a blend of spices including cinnamon, cloves and sometimes cardamom. The rice is typically cooked in a broth or stock infused with these spices, resulting in a flavorful and aromatic dish. Lemaitsolola 
is a traditional Comorian dish that consists of fish cooked in a rich coconut sauce. The fish is often simmered in a sauce made from coconut milk, onions, tomatoes, and a variety of spices and herbs, which can include garlic, ginger, chili peppers, and coriander. The combination of flavors creates a creamy and savory dish that is typically served with rice or bread. If you enjoyed this video on Comoros, you'll love this next one.